Now it's been quite a while since I've made a moto vlog on the bike. Not even sure since the Polar Bear Challenge if I've made a typical standard moto vlog. Quite a bit's been happening, but I could probably talk about it for 20 minutes, and nobody wants to watch a 20 minute moto vlog. But last week, Denise, 13, here comes the sun, came to Chicago to visit, and unfortunately, we just could not work it out to where we could get together and do a meet, but we texted back and forth. She was right in downtown Chicago, and uh, typically when people come out for business conferences and stuff like that, they stay near O'Hare Airport, and I live, for those of you that know where I live, I live right on the west side of O'Hare Airport, so when people come for business conferences and stuff, if they, uh, if they are staying at the, uh, at the uh, airport, well, that was great. I confused the guy. Left my left turn signal on. That was on me. Yeah, so they stay at the airport, and I can get out there even in heavy traffic. I can usually get out around to the, either the uh, north or the south side of the airport from the west side in about 30 minutes. But getting to downtown, even on the weekends anymore, it's just it's horrendous. And then if you drive, trying to even find a parking space. But, uh... I think I was able to help Denise out and give her some suggestions. Uh, she did go to see the bean. I told her, if you do get a chance, go see that. It's a reflective, it's, that's not even the real name, that's the name we call it, but it's a reflective structure at Millennial Park that uh, is like a kidney-shaped structure and totally mirrored. It's really cool. And while you're there, don't forget, if you get a chance, walk underneath it and look up too. That's another cool view but just all the reflections of either the lake or the skyline in the bean is really kind of cool. And I'd also like to talk about uh, two of my favorite moto, or not just moto vloggers, but overall vloggers lately that I've been following. Uh, not necessarily all the time, the list changes depending on my mood, what I feel like watching and uh, the kind of subject matter and stuff like that. but. Lately, I've been watching a lot of videos from Muzzle Mike and also from um, Jet. Used to be Ms. Nighthawk. Now she's Jet on two wheels. Fellow Illinois moto vlogger. And it looks like possibly in the future, sometime this summer, we may be able to work it out to do a meetup. I know I wasn't going to get the chance, probably with my routes this year and limited funds, I wasn't going to get a chance to travel down south towards St. Louis. Not very likely, but might end up being that she'll work her way with some, uh, with a relative or two coming up this way. So that'll work out. Maybe. I mean, all these things are possibilities. You just try the best you can for meetups. Sometimes they happen, sometimes they don't. Which gets me to my third subject. I was uh, wanting to do a reply to Loud Pipes about um, people doing shout outs. And specifically, do you think people have probably done shout outs to you and you haven't even realized? And in my case, oh yeah, a whole bunch. That's why I've told people in previous Moto Vlogs definitely if you make a video that you would like me to see and basically. You know, if it's somebody I'm subscribed to, if you think there's even the possibility, then I can tell you the answer is yes, I do want to see your video, but I've still got that dysfunction with YouTube going on right now, and the maximum I can see back on any subscribers is 18 hours. Oh, some kids flying a kite there. So yeah, if I'm away for 24 hours, then that means there's a... Probably at least six to eight hours worth of videos that were on the list that are just gone forever as far as me being able to see them. And uh, the reason why I know it's probably happened is I think this year, by going to Google Plus pages, you see videos that other people comment on, even if they're older videos. And I actually caught one where somebody did a shout out to me, and I think it was over six weeks old. And 
as soon as I looked at it and I realized they'd done a shout out, I'm like, oh my god, do they think I'm some kind of stuck up person because I didn't even bother to make a comment or anything like that. And uh, no, that was not the case at all. I had not seen the video and if it weren't just for the happen of uh, happenstance of luck, probably would not have seen it at all. So I know if I've caught a few of them, which I have, very, very late after they were made. I'm sure others have been made that I never did see. I mean, I feel bad when I go back to my old videos from a few months back because somebody's made a comment and then, as always, I try to answer the comment and then I look in the list and I see three or four other comments that I haven't even answered. And to me, that's just, uh, that's not being very polite. I always make the effort to try to answer. So anyway, I'm going to mail some letters and then uh, I'm going to flip it over. I made a, another video to the next batch of decals that have come in. These are probably over the last three weeks by now, by the time this will be posted. But yeah, here's my decal videos from what I have received in the past three weeks. And I think I have a few more coming. Here we go with the next batch of stickers from the top. Got a nice letter from Wyvern Biker, Keith. Hello Chuck, thank you for watching my videos and supporting my channel. As requested, here is one of my most excellent stickers. Should you like another one, please drop me a PM. PM. Cheers and ride safe. And there's a sticker right there. Let me show a little bit. Of, there we go. And then my friend Hugo, Samurai HG, sent me two stickers extra to trade. Thank you very much for all the support given to my channel. Hope you like my decal. Go hard or go home. Enjoy the ride. Ride safe. And right up here, thank you very much for all your support and decals. Right on. And then let's move down. This is from Vec p and &E, John from Missouri. And he sends, I'll just read the top part of the letter. Thanks for the subs. As you know, I do not consider you my subscribers. I consider you all to be friends, family that I have found along the way in this community of moto vlogging. Same as me, same sentiment I have. And there is his nice sticker there. And then up here we'll start with some of the ladies. Misa, who has been with me since the old days of live video. I got one of her stickers. As a matter of fact, um, I think the day after I asked her to send one of her stickers, she said it's already in the mail and I got it the very next day. And then I send her out some of my stickers. This one's from Brenda, also fellow Illinoisan. I got the original limited edition, which is no longer available. So I got the Ms. Nighthawk sticker and then here is the one for her new channel, Jet. So thank you very much, Brenda, and that is thanks for requesting a sticker. I appreciate the support and friendship I found in the Motovlog community. You all make it worthwhile. Ride safe and have fun. Brenda, a.k.a. Jet on Two Wheels. And then Shin Jae Joon, one of our lady polar bears, she was not able to really participate much in the polar bear this year because of uh, bike problems, weather problems, kind of the same stuff that beat me back for most of the polar bear challenge, but um, a very good... Um, design for the sticker and she is an artist she does her own designs and stuff like that and if you've seen some of the work she does just um, making drawings and paintings for people and just different artwork like that I'm uh, I'm very impressed because I can barely draw a stick figure Chuck enjoy the decal ride safe Shin J Jun and then finally this is another type of a two-wheeler this is my friend I showed um, one of his other type of stickers and he sent me these new type um, two-wheeler stickers and obviously bicycle rather than motorcycle which I am into also, I've spent some time this year on my two-wheeler without a motor, and it helps. makes you a lot healthier, too. So thank you, Tim McGraw, for the extra ones, and then he requested that I send a couple to him to put up. So I will be doing that, too. And uh, as usual, anybody else that would like a sticker, just request it. I have, I think, about between five and seven left. I haven't counted lately, but I think somewhere in the range of five to seven. So um, if I get quite a few requests, I'll probably order another batch. If I only get a few, I'll just... Keep uh, sending them till they're used up. So, take care, everybody.